and welcome back to Granted Gardens. My name is Melissa and today I'm going to show you how I make homemade butter. Uh, during my kitchen tools tour that I posted a few days ago, I had shared my butter crock. Um, since then I've had a couple people ask me some questions about this. So I'm going to show you guys my butter crock, what a butter crock is, how it works, and we're also going to make some butter to fill it up. Making homemade butter is super, super simple. All that you really need is some heavy whipping cream, a jar, and a ton of muscle. You can add the heavy whipping cream to this jar and shake for a very, very long time. Eventually, it'll turn into butter. However, we're not gonna do it that way today. We're gonna do it the easy way, and we're going to use our KitchenAid mixer. All right, so we're gonna make butter the easy way and we're gonna use our KitchenAid mixer. Um, things that you want from the KitchenAid mixer, if you got your splatter guard, you definitely wanna make sure that you use this. It can tend to get a little messy when you're making butter. Um, or if you don't have the splash guard, have a towel or something to set over top of this because once uh, the butter starts to separate, it can tend to splatter. You also wanna make sure that you have your whisk attachment, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set this up and then you're gonna take your heavy whipping cream and pour it, there we go, and pour it into your KitchenAid mixer. All right, so we've got our heavy whipping cream in the bowl. We're gonna go ahead and slowly turn up the speed here, just a little bit at a time, a notch at a time. Um, I've been mixing it for a, I've been mixing it for a couple seconds here. I want to make sure that I put the splash guard on. It kind of caught me off guard. So I'm gonna add my splash guard and I'm going to turn up to 10. I'm gonna let this run for about five minutes um, and we should get butter. I'm gonna check in with you periodically so you can see the difference. So we stop just to take a peek here and you can see it's much thicker. Definitely um, like you would get a, like a Cool Whip or a whipped cream texture here. So we're going to keep going. We're getting close. Alrighty, so now we're starting to see where the fat, the butter, is separating from the liquid, the buttermilk. Um, and it's a good consistency. We're gonna keep going just a little bit longer to try and get this butter to kind of sit up a little bit more. Um, we want it to be a little bit more solidified, so we're gonna go just a little bit longer here. All right, so now we want to get our butter out um, and separate the butter from the buttermilk. So we're gonna pour the buttermilk into a separate container. I'm gonna take my spatula here, get all of the butter out of the whisk and detach my bowl. So here I'm going to just slowly pour my buttermilk into a separate jar. You're trying not to get the butter in there. You're gonna have to fish out any butter that falls in. Then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna try and squeeze out some of this butter to get any excess buttermilk to separate. And we're gonna continue this process until we can get most of the buttermilk out of the bowl. That's quite a bit of buttermilk that we got out of that. Um, so we're gonna save this, obviously save your buttermilk. You can use it in all kinds of recipes. So I'm gonna pop my buttermilk into the fridge and then we're gonna get back to the butter. 
So this next step is important and it's one that I have skipped in the past. Um, you wanna rinse your butter to make sure that you get off as much buttermilk as possible. The buttermilk is what will cause your butter to spoil faster. So if you have less buttermilk on your butter, it will tend to last longer. Um, especially with us wanting to do the crock method, I wanna make sure that my butter has released as much of the butter, buttermilk as possible. Um, I've seen this done a few different ways. One way is you can actually put, put your butter, roll it up into a ball and rinse it under your faucet. Um, another way is to pour ice cold water into your mixing bowl um, and rinse the butter multiple times. So I think we're gonna try that method this time. Check it out. So I've replaced my mixing bowl and my whisk. I've got, um, I'm using a coffee press because that's what is currently available within reach. Um, <laughs> I filled it with some ice and um, filled it with water, cold water from the tap and let it sit for a minute. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this cold water in. Um, the concept here is that we wanna rinse this. We don't want to add um, ice to it though, so just the cold water will do. Um, we get uh, about a cup in there, and then we are going to turn on the machine again um, to help rinse, help get this water rinsed through your butter. trying to get that butter out so that it's getting rinsed in the water so I'm gonna get all this butter out and rinsed again the water is fairly fairly clear um, you can see through it so we're done here we're going to take our butter out we're going to take our butter out and we're gonna get it in the crock Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is just get my butter out of the whisk, which can uh, be a bit of a challenge all on its own. Um, but the next step is we're going to be putting our butter in the crock. So for those of you that are not familiar what a butter crock is, um, a butter crock is a storage for butter. Um, a lot of people struggle with the idea, the fact that when you make homemade butter and you put it in the refrigerator, it gets really hard and it's not spreadable and that can be a really big disappointment. <laughs> um, fun fact, my favorite part about Thanksgiving is the butter. <laughs> um, mostly because I love putting butter on stuff and my favorite, my two favorite things at Thanksgiving are mashed potatoes with loads of butter and rolls with loads of butter. So it's a big disappointment when my butter, my butter doesn't spread. Um, so that's what the purpose behind a butter crock is. So a butter crock looks like this. Um, it's, I think it, in, it initially um, was created in France in I believe the 1600s, the concept was at least. Um, so it's changed a bit since then, but um, basically it's two parts and this top part here is what you pack the butter into and then this bottom part you add water to um, and once you add water to this bottom part and pack the butter in here and put it back together again that water and this lid create a airtight seal so your butter can stay out on the counter um, without going bad so that's the concept here we're gonna pack in some of our butter into our butter crock. So I'm gonna take a spoon and the top of my um, jar here, and I'm going to pick up some butter, and I'm gonna put it in my, my bell, okay? Um, now the concept is here is you wanna push to press your butter in. You wanna make sure that there aren't any air pockets while you're filling the bell. If you have air pockets, um, after you're done filling it, the butter will get heavy 
and when you turn it upside down, it'll just slip right out. So I'm just slowly packing it in there and using some pressure on the back of my spoon to make sure that there aren't any air bubbles. Okay, and there you can see I have my bell nicely packed. Um, and if I turn it over, it doesn't slide out. So that's all set and ready to go. Now we're going to take the bottom half of our butter crock. And on the inside here, you can see that there is a little line. That's the water line. So we're going to fill it up with cold water to that water line. Okay, it's hard to see, but I got my water in here. And then all I'm going to do is just take my butter crock and turn it over and set it like that. And it's all set. Now, as you can see, I've got some leftover butter here. So I'm going to go ahead and store this in an airtight container and put it in the refrigerator. Um, as time goes by that we empty out our butter crock, I can take out this butter that's in the refrigerator. I can let it sit out at room temperature for a bit so that it's nice and spreadable again, and then use it to refill our crock. As far as caring for your crock goes, uh, you wanna change out the water about every three to five days, and this butter can stay out on your counter in your crock for up to three weeks. I'd say this calls for toast. As always, thank you all so much for joining me, and I look forward to sharing more with you soon.